What's up, guys? Back here with another video, and I'm going to be giving my reaction to uh, Marvin Tory versus Paulo Costa uh, change of weight because Paulo Costa's fat ass can't make weight. And uh, yeah, man, if you're new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, throw a little thumbs up, ring that bell to get all notifications, and let's go right to it, guys. All right, so why now uh, the middleweight fight between Marvin Vittori versus Paulo Costa is now a light heavyweight fight because Paulo Costa can't make weight. He's been saying that for like the past couple of days or whatever. He's not going to be able to make weight, which I don't understand. Um, like, dude, you, you got one freaking job besides going in the octagon, octagon and fighting, which is to make weight. Anybody who misses weight, they lose 30% of their purse or whatever the case may be. I don't know if the UFC is going to do that because now that they changed the weight, you know, but I, I think it's just very dumb because I feel like if a fighter coming up who don't have the pool to be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to miss weight. I'm just going to see if I talk to my opponent on an interview and be like, yo, man, let's fight at 195. Because I think it was supposed to be at 195. I think 190 and then 195 and then now it's 205. Dude, that is so un that's so ridiculous, man. Like you have a job. I'm pretty sure this fight was made like months ago, like a month or two ago. Like how are you still how are you not gonna be able to make weight, bro? Like that doesn't make any sense. Bro, that's super unprofessional and and I actually liked it Paulo Costa a little bit. But like how the hell are you not making weight, dude? You got one freaking job. How are you are not making weight? Like it's ridiculous, you know. Thank God for Marvin Tory, he agreed and the UFC officials agreed, like, you know what, let's do two or five or whatever. But this is just, I think it's just absurd. When he fought Izzy, and I'm talking about Paulo, like, when he fought Izzy, he said that he drank a whole bottle of wine the day before. I mean, the day after they weigh in and whatever the fight. Bro, you know he's going to fight. Why they in the, why on earth would you ever do that? Bro, he's just sabotaging himself. I don't get it. Like, I really don't freaking get it. Like, it's just one job. I don't get why you have to go out and... Not being able to make weight. I just don't get it. Tell me, man. They, you will see, I feel like, and the officials should take 30% of his purse. Even without moving it up. Because that doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, I'm just lost for words. I'm glad at least the fight is still going to happen or whatnot. But I think it's I think it's ridiculous. I think Dana and the UFC need to really put the hammer down on these guys that want to be missing weight. But then want to change the weight class because they're not going to make weight. So they don't lose 30% of their purse. I think they should take it anyway. And that's what he deserved. You know, definitely for missing weight. Like you, I know this fight was made like at least a month and a half, like I said earlier, before. Or two months before. And you're not able to make the weight. That's your fault. Not nobody else, but your fault. Paulo Costa, shame on you. I hope Marvin Tart kicked that ass and uh, knock your ass right out. Or wrestle love you for the, for the five rounds that you guys got. And guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about Paulo Costa not being able to make weight and being at 205. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys. Peace.